Hey there, this is Kenneth Wong here, a Burmese American writer living in San Francisco. So how many different ways can you ask someone to eat tea leaf salad in Burmese? Well, quite a number of ways, and depending on how you do it, you might come across as incredibly rude or very polite. That's because in Burmese you can convey varying degrees of politeness with slightly different choices of words. Shall we have a look? The simplest way to do that is to say le pet sa. Le pet is the noun for tea leaf salad. Sa is the verb for to eat. So le pet sa, eat tea leaf salad. Well, that's the shortest way, certainly, but not necessarily the best way to say it. Grammatically, there is nothing wrong when you say le pet sa to offer someone a plate of tea leaf salad, but you'll come across as if you're issuing an order, as if you're saying, I don't care whether you like tea leaf salad or not, or if you'd rather eat mohinga instead, but you'll eat what I feed you and you'll like it. So my suggestion, if you don't want to be rude, don't let your sentence abruptly end after your verb. Add something like ba. Make it la pet sa ba. So that makes it a lot more polite, even though you are essentially still issuing a command to somebody. Now try repeating it with me, English first, followed by Burmese. Please have some tea leaf salad, le pet saba. Please have some tea leaf salad, le pet saba. Please have some tea leaf salad, le pet saba. Now my English, followed by your Burmese. Please have some tea leaf salad. That's great. It should be le pet saba. Now let's say that you notice that your guest happens to be a bit shy and is reluctant to take the first bite or take the first mouthful of le pet. How would you encourage him politely? You can do this by saying le pet saba on. One more time, le pet saba on. Essentially, you're still saying please have some tea leaf salad, but now by changing it to saba on, you are essentially adding a nudge verbally. There is really no English equivalent grammatically to describe what the term ba means or own means because, well, they don't exist in the English language. But know that these terms are added at the end of the sentence to show that you are being polite or to show that you are nudging somebody, encouraging somebody to take action. Try repeating it with me again. English first, followed by Burmese. Please have some tea leaf salad. Le pet saba on. Please have some tea leaf salad. Le pet saba on. Please have some tea leaf salad. Le pet saba on. Now, my English, followed by your Burmese. Please have some tea leaf salad. Good. It's le pet saba on. And by saying saba on, you're adding a verbal nudge to your suggestion and making it easier for your guests to take action. If your guest after that point still is reluctant to take action and start eating, you can up the ante by saying le pet sa light ba on. One more time, le pet sa light ba on. When you say sa light ba on, you are adding a faint sense of urgency. It's difficult to explain, but this is all designed to make it easier for your guest to start eating what you're offering him. Now, you can also show your politeness by recasting your command in the form of a question. For instance, you can say, Le pet sa on no? One more time, Le pet sa on no? Adding no indicates you're seeking confirmation or agreement in Burmese language. For example, when you say, Bude no? You are in essence saying, It's hot, isn't it? Or when you say, no? And you are saying, it's cold, isn't it? So, by that formula, when you say, le pet sa on no, you are saying, eat some tea leaf salad, won't you? Try repeating after me, English first, followed by Burmese. Eat some tea leaf salad, won't you? Le pet sa on no? Eat some tea leaf salad, won't you? Le pet sa on no? Eat some tea leaf salad, won't you? Le pet Sa on no? Okay, now my English followed by your Burmese. Eat some tea leaf salad, won't you? That's good. It should be le pet sa on no? Well, with that formula in mind, you can try experimenting with some other nouns. For example, let's try it with mohinga, the fish chowder and noodle that everybody loves to eat in Burma. So instead of saying mohinga sa, eat mohinga, 
you can be very polite and say, have some fish chowder, won't you? And it should be, mohinga sa no? Have some fish chowders, won't you? One more time, mohinga sa no? Suppose you're in a restaurant and you're getting thirsty and would like a can of soda from the waiter or the waitress. Instead of saying soda be, you can say very politely, please give me some soda. And that should be soda be wa on. One more time, please give me some soda. Soda be wa on. Or if you'd like to cast your request in the form of a question, you might say soda be on no. Please give me some soda, won't you? Soda be on no. Well, that's all for now. I hope you find this lesson useful. Until next time, I am Kenneth Wong. See you later. Now, my dreamer.